now that spot Bitcoin ETFs have successfully launched, both the ETF and the crypto world are waiting for the next big event, and that's spot Ethereum ETFs. The SEC has to approve, deny, or delay VanX application for a spot Ethereum ETF by May 23rd. That's the drop-dead date. So what's going to happen? Let's talk with Rick Edelman. He's the head of the Digital Asset Council of Financial Professionals, former head of Edelman Financial Engines, the biggest RIA in the country at the time. Rick, on May 23rd, drop-dead date. Approve, deny, deny or deny. delay? Deny. Deny. Yeah, there's no question. Uh, I, I would be astonished if the SEC said yes at this point. Uh, we're, we're looking at traffic between the SEC and Van Eck. And typically, as you approach a deadline, if they're intending to approve, there's a lot of email, a lot of meetings back and forth as they hone in on the application, get all the you know T's and I's the way they want them. That's not happening. There's relatively low level. That's a good, so that's the tell. As, yeah. Crickets from the SEC means yeah. bad news. It just means they're not ready yet. They're busy with other things. They're going to kick the can. Uh, they have an opportunity to um, delay this decision, and they're going to do it probably until the end of the year. Now, when the spot Bitcoin ETFs were denied by the SEC, remember that, that right. happened. They were we successfully sued yes. on the grounds that they had approved Bitcoin futures ETFs, and the court said since they were similar products, mm -hmm. they had to approve the spot Bitcoin ETFs. Right. But we already have approved Ethereum futures. Isn't the same logic applicable here? I, I believe it is, but it's, this isn't going to cause the SEC to say no permanently. They're simply saying not yet, which is frankly in the Bitcoin world perfectly fine. The, the spot Bitcoin ETFs are still so new. There's so much attention there. So many firms are still racing to add these ETFs onto their platforms. The Ethereum ETFs, quite frankly, Bob, are a little bit of a distraction. So I think everybody's kind of okay with the fact that there's going to be a six-month delay before the Ethereum ETFs come about. So ultimately, the, the real issue boils down to whether Ethereum is a security or is it a commodity. Now, the CFTC says it's a commodity, just like Bitcoin. The crypto community has been mounting legal challenges against the SEC. Mm -hmm. So what is it? Is Ethereum a commodity or security? And how, where do you draw the line between this and all the other cryptocurrencies? It's a land grab, as you pointed out. The SEC wants to call it a security, so they have jurisdiction over it. But that's a really difficult argument to justify. It's hard-pressed to demonstrate that Ethereum meets the so-called Howey test, which is how the SEC determines yeah, whether it's you're It's an security. investment contract. Exactly. And there's really hard justification to support that. It is a commodity, I believe. I think most are in that camp. It's going to be under CFTC regulation, not SEC. And that's going to force the SEC to say yes, just like they were forced to say yes to Bitcoin. And it, it ultimately, though, does everything else fit the Howey test? Is that everything else an I investment think an contract? Awful, I think an awful lot of the other coins not. do. Probably 70, 80, 90 percent of the other coins do meet the definition of a security. And this and is, would be under the purview of the SEC. Correct. Then. And that's, frankly, good news for investors and consumer protection. The crypto community largely doesn't like that, but they need to suck it up and get with reality. Yeah, you've been... Uh, advocate of that position for a long time. We're going to have a lot more about this on what's going to happen with Ethereum ETFs coming up on ETF Edge, 1.10 p.m. Eastern Time. Rick is going to be joined by Matt Hogan, the CIO of Bitwise Asset Management. He manages the Bitwise Bitcoin Trust. will update us on how the trading is with the Bitcoin ETFs. That's etfedge.cnbc.com.